back to another episode of Let's Play Conquest of the Longbow, The Legend of the Adventures of Robin Hood. I am your host, the RPG Guy, Day 5, and now the story's really going to start picking up. For those of you wondering if this story would ever pick up, it's about to now. Top of the morning to you. Where's Tuck? Is there no breakfast? He's gone off to visit the widow yet again. He claims he's only interested in her wool, but I suspect he's doing a bit of wool gathering, if you know what I mean. At any rate, you're on your own. Ta! Ho ho! What a douche. Alright, so, um. Is what well fast travel and figure out why there's no fucking breakfast. Tuck! Where's fucking breakfast? Norman, I was about to go for you. Wait, look, you've come. What is amiss? Good woman, why do you weep so? Oh, my heart! If they ain't my beautiful boys, it will burst of grief. It says we're missing all three of them. Someone betrayed them to the sheriff. I swear by the Virgin Mary, I'll do all in my power to save your sons from the hangman's rope. This is some serious bullshit. You go ahead. The widow needs my comfort for a short while yet. I've got a little bit of the holy uh, <clears throat> staff to help her with, with her grief. Alright, so let's go ahead and fast travel, and we might see a couple of different things happen here. We're going to see these two monks kind of go past each other, and we're kind of going to wait for that black monk to break the center mass of it, and then we're going to go down here, because I want to ho hopefully want to get the black monk, but we could get the other monk and it wouldn't matter. You block my way, friend. Hey, so I do. Move aside. And if I do not? Since you seem determined to block my way, what is it you want? I'm no common outlaw. I'm Robin Hood. I know of you. It would serve my master well to have you dead. Name your master. Prince John, he who deserves to rule. Treacherous dog, Richard is our king. Not for long. And when Prince John takes the crown, then you outlaws will know the true meaning of fear. He'll not rest until he's hunted down every last one of you and set you to dancing at the end of the rope. Not even this forest will be large enough to hide you from his wrath. That day will never come. As for what I want, your robe and whatever you carry upon you. By the Trinity... I'll give you nothing but the wrap of my staff upon your skull. Now, going up to him is a bad idea. Uh, shooting him, obviously, is going to make his robes useless. So we actually need to, you know, get a, get a bit of help here. So let, let's do that. One man a dozen. Call all your men. It matters not. I'm prepared to die. Wow, this guy's kind of hardcore here. Mm -mm -mm. What say you, Robin? Do you wish him taken? What say you, monk? Give me your robe and all you carry upon you, and I'll and you'll go in peace. I say, be damned! If God doesn't punish you for your wickedness, Prince John will. You serve that devil as hound. Do you speak openly of it? What does it matter? I'll give you nothing of my free will. And if you seek to take me by force, I'll kill as many of you as I can hear before I die. Stand aside, man. I began this, and I shall finish it as honor demands. One to one. Uh, very well, but beware of him, Mr. Robin. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I want to say, I'm trying to think here, um, I don't want to pull my bow. Let's see what he does. Remove your robe and turn over your possessions now or I will kill you. I fear nothing but the judgment of God. I loathe a dishonorable death, but you're a dishonorable. Oh, you dare! You have a long bow and I a staff. You call this an even match. I challenge you to combat with a quarter staff. Fuck yeah. I accept. Let me just whip out my dick here. Little John! Will you lend me your quarter staff? This monk has challenged my honor. Gladly, oh, we'll lend it to you. Here you go. 
as obviously we're gonna have to drop the longbow and the quiver. And this is more of a, oh, as I'm drinking something here, this is more of a, of, of a match of rock, paper, scissor. And as you can see, he can kind of block. Oh, there's it. Nah, come on. There's a hit. Yeah, probably going to lose this fight. It's kind of a hit and miss kind of thing. Sometimes you win, but there's no telling when you're supposed to really do it that I've ever figured out. He fought well, but not well enough. <laughs> Your final blow was so strong, it broke his staff. All right, well, that was bad luck. I'm going to have to make do with his robe and whatever he's carrying. Rest yourself, Robin. We'll remove his robe, and when you've changed, I'll take your clothes and weapons to your cave. To your cave, then. You look the part, Robin, even without your staff. But surely you could have kept Little John's. Nay, nah, he values it too highly. I'll be my, it'll be my wits that keep me alive, not a staff. <laughs> You're poorly armed indeed. Just better than not being armed at all like you. Be off with you, rascal. So, there we go. And off we go. Off we go. So we've got this bag here. Let's take a look at what's in it. A shit ton of gemstones. What, would you, what do you know? That'll be relevant later. And a flute. Alright, so now that we've done all that, we can fast travel here. To what's known as the Fens. This is where I'm going to make a quick save here because this is probably the most dangerous uh, area here of the entire early part of the game. Shit likes to go wrong here quite often, so let's go down and do it. So for those of you wondering, I'm using Scum VM. Uh, it lets you play DOS games. I loaded this DOS game onto Windows 7. Pretty much I just took the floppies and ripped them from the floppies and I ran the setup in, in um, a floppy reader software and Scum VM, I put it on there so I can actually play it. Kind of like DOSBox, you know, for those of you wondering. Alright, let's go ahead and use the flute. I hear something coming through the fog. Oh, wee yo, yo, ho, ho, wee yo, yo, ho. <laughs> I heard your signal, brother, but I don't know your face. Have you newly joined our order? Aye, and I've been sent to serve here. Step in then and be seated, I'll take you across. So go ahead and be seated. Now, when you're on the boat, don't do anything. Just kind of wait it out till you get to the other side. And the other side is where shit can get kind of difficult. Kind of. We make our way through the marsh of doom, the swamp. I feel like we're bringing, we're in, like in the river sticks or some shit. <laughs> oh man, this is already not looking too hot here. I have business inside. Let me pass. You are new brother, therefore you must prove yourself. I must have the tokens you bear for the guardian of the gate. All right, that's easy enough. This is not the order of the things, brother. I must have first the token before you present this. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta give him the flute. I wait the rest. Now we give him the bag. I accept your tokens, brother. Now you must prove your knowledge of the lore of the gemstones. This is the way of it. I will pose you three riddles. There are three stones that you must choose to answer each riddle. If you're right, you will pass in safety. If you're wrong... Commend your soul to God, for you will die here. Here is the first riddle. All right, and these riddles, um, what you need to know is that these riddles are very much, you can save between them if you need, but I think we'll be okay. 
These are riddles of stone lore. If you open the book to Conquest of the Longbow, the, the Adventures of Robin Hood manual, you'll actually have all the answers there. Um, it, I must ride upon a fiery horse through valleys filled with adders and seek the fate that awaits me. What should I take with me? Oh boy. Um, I must ride through fire. So I have the manual here in front of me, so let me read through some of these here. I must ride upon a fiery horse through valleys filled with adders and seek the fate that awaits me. What should I take with me? Hold on. You know what? Let's do this. Let's make a save. It's like I said, the the book doesn't give you the answer. It gives you it gives you an idea of what the answer might be. Uh, I have to say, it must ride upon a fiery. I must ride upon a fiery horse through valleys filled with adders and seek the fate that awaits me. Adders, through valleys filled with adders, on a fiery horse. Well, there's a couple of options here, and I would have to say, I think it's turquoise. It brings good luck. It warns of danger by changing color. It keeps horses from becoming lame. It protects from injuries falling. Injuries, uh, it protects from injuries by falling. It's either that one. I think it's that one. Watch, I'm gonna get killed here. Oh, nice. Your first choice is correct, brother. Choose you now two more. Okay. Okay, so th this is, there's three stones within this one riddle. I must ride upon with a fiery horse through valleys filled with adders with valleys filled with adders um probably shouldn't have saved there uh <laughs> let me think um i'll just read these out loud to you guys well no wait a minute let me think through valleys filled with adders and seek the fate that awaits me uh, not sure. This is a tough one. This is the one I don't quite remember. Um, uh, I want to say, uh, I'm not sure. This is actually quite hard. Through valleys filled with adders and seeks the fate that awaits me. I think it's gonna be um, the sapphire. This is a cat's eye sapphire. Hey, 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 look at that. Um, fate that awaits. This one is the reason it was the sapphire. It cures boils and preserves chastity and preserves secrets. It cures the disease of the eye. That's not what any of that was, but it is the stone of destiny. Seek the fate that awaits me. That's destiny. Um, so we've gotten two of them right. Through valleys filled with adders and seeks the... Adders. Adders are snakes, I think. So there's a one... Which one of these actually does poison? Protects from poison. Uh, brings good luck. Agate is the power of divine attraction. Cures lunacy. It cures melancholia. Mel melancholia, I'm sorry. It brings good crops. It protects sailors at sea. Opal. It forecasts death to one who's ill. Now, Jet. It controls demons. It has the power to the underworld. Diversity of light. Cure snake bites. So it's got to be Jet. That was the first riddle. And that was already fucking hard as shit. So let's make a save. So you don't have to answer them in order, but you do have to answer them. In summer, my ice does not melt. That's the first clue, and I believe that one's pretty simple. Um... Uh, where I think it is... Let me see here. Amber, Jet, Opal, Quartz. Quartz is petrified ice frozen so hard that it will not thaw. So obviously it's going to be this one here. Nice. Demons run when I raise my hand. Uh, well, that we know that Jet controls demons of the underworld, so that's, not, that's pretty easy. The red eye becomes clear. So we want something that cures, I think, eyesight. Um, it's what I'm thinking that the riddle's asking us for, and I'm looking in the manual here. Uh, lapis lazuli is symbolizes the power of water. Cures is diseases of the eye. So I think it's lapis lazuli. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. So like I said, the manual's a must-have. Unlike some other point-and-click games, 
There's going to be things in the manual that you have to be able to do here. Alas, sad sadness cloths clothes me like a laden cloak. A wicked woman lies to me, but I fear danger will come upon me by surprise. Uh-oh. Uh, shit. Um... I want to say there's a woman that'll lie to us, and Amber, it cures fever, it cures blindness and deafness, it counteracts poison, and it can make a woman confess her sins. Republicans believe this stone has actually exists, by the way. All right, so we got that. Last sadness clothes me like a laden cloak. Um, I want to say, let's see here. Stone of Truth, Cures Disease of the Eye, Confess Her Sins, Unites All Colors, Makes the Wear Invisible, Forecast Death in One Who Is Ill. That would be Opal. I mean, it will come upon me by surprise. Um, this, is, this one's actually a little harder. Um... I think turquoise would be the next one because it, 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 it helps with color. Yeah, okay, so it changes color uh, when danger is near. So that would answer this part of the riddle. But I fear danger will come upon me by surprise. So that's why I picked that if you're wondering. Um, and then we still haven't really answered this first one. Alas, sadness clothes me like a laden cloak. I don't... I... I mm. Okay, let's read through these again. It has, uh, again, it has the power of divine and power pulls objects toward the sky. Cures when I see because of melanch melancholia. It brings good crops and protect through, protects sailors at sea. We already know tur it's not turquoise. Sapphire cures boils. It preserves chastity. It preserves secrets. It cures diseases of the eye. It is the stone of destiny. Sadness clothes me like a laden cloak. A wicked woman lies to me. We answered that, and I fear danger. We fear we answered the first two parts of the second two parts of the riddle. Um. There's two stones that cure disease of the eye. That's interesting. Um, carnelian. Suppresses blood flowing from wound. It grants the heart's desire. It cures bleeding of the gums. It guides the dead to rebirth. I don't think it's that one. Lapis lazuli. It symbolizes the power of water. It cures disease of the eye. It is the stone of truth. It is a fallen piece of the heavens. I don't think it's that. And we you already did Amber Jet. It controls demons and has the power in the underworld where the dead walk. It averts the evil eye. It cures snake bite. It prevents poisoning. Opal. It forecasts death to one who is ill. It makes the wear invisible. It unites all colors. Quartz. It is petrified ice, frozen so hard it will not thaw. It draws death from the heavens. It quenches thirst when held to the mouth. It represents the immaculate conception. I, I think it might be opal, um, because that's the only thing I can think of, and nothing else kind of fits. Nope. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll let you guys watch me die. I heard the monks dumped Robin's body into the fens after the guardian cracked his pate. I failed to study his gemstone lore. Yeah, fuck you guys. Anywho, that does happen. So let's try this again. So we know that it is, um, what was it? A sadness laden cloak, a wicked woman. Okay, so Amber is one of them. Amber is, and if you're wondering, there's a picture of all the gemstones as they sit here with a number next to them, and then there's the number of the lore that goes into it. Um, so already it's gonna be this one. And uh, the one that changes colors when evil is near. I think that was turquoise. Yes. All right, so there's still one stone I'm not quite sure about. Sadness clothes me like a lead, leaden cloak. Something weighs you down. This is, see, some of these are very ambiguous here. Um, uh, I'm not going to read through all these again. I'm still thinking about which one it is as I'm reading the manual here. 
Okay, so it wasn't Opal, obviously. Um, you know, I think it's Car I, I, maybe it's Carnelian. It suppresses blood flowing from wounds. It grants a heart's desire. Nope. It wasn't that. So we know it's these two. Maybe. There we go. Somehow it was Agate. The, the Agate. It has the power of divine attraction. It will pull objects towards the sky. It cures lunacy. It cures melancholy, melancholia. It brings good crops. It protects sailors at sea. How that's a reference to what we were doing, I, I don't really have an answer for that. But like I said, those riddles are tough. They're they're not. They're very unforgiving. Oh, <sighs> so now we're in. The prior and the other monks are in the refectory. I don't recognize you. Who are you? I am a brother of Eustace. And what do what do you hear? Brother Eustace, I've joined your order so that I may serve Prince John as he deserves. Then you're welcome, Brother Eustace, if you can fight. There's none at one, not, there's not a one of us that wasn't a soldier before we donned the black robes. There are those with good cause to fear the skills of my arm, your worship, or I would not be wearing this robe. Good. We'll have to put it to the test soon. Have you sworn to obey the vow of our order? Oh, I've made many a solemn oath, never fear. Have a care, Brother Eustace. Your tongue is a smite slippery for a man who has sworn humility and obedience. Please pardon me, your worship. Very well. But we are strict here. Any infraction is punished with lashings. Remember that. Mm, what a dick. All right, so there's not much else to do unless you want to look around. I wouldn't bother talking to the other monks, especially if you want to live. And let's go ahead and head this way. So you can see there's a lot here to kind of absorb and look at and check out. The prior is within, surrounded by his torture and devices. With his unfortunate victim strung up, uh, strung up on one of them. Answer me, speaker. I'll put weights on your feet and rip your arms from their sockets. Um. <clears throat> ah, I tell you, brother Eustace, I've never seen a more stubborn, stupid creature than this miserable dwarf. Uh, he does look miserable wasted enough time here. You are to stand guard and increase his pain in any way you can. When he's ready to talk, send for me. I'll be in the scribe's room. Wow. I don't think this was a lover's quarrel here. Let's find out what's going on. Let's see if we can get this guy down. He's obviously in pain. Beating up dwarves is not a fun thing to do. Unless he punches you in the nuts. You, you set me free, but but the prior bowed you. Shrivel his black soul. I'm no servant of his. S -s Such kindness makes you a giant among men, and men are giants indeed when I'm amongst them. How can you jest when you still shake with pain? But I am folk the jester, don't you know? Call jester to God save him, King Richard, mm, Coeur de Lyon. What, your King Richard's own jester? And our king is free. He would never betray. I would would never betray my beloved master. So if this is some filthy trick to win my trust. Nay, listen well. I was place my life in your hands to show my good faith. I am no monk. I am Robin Hood. What? Sorry. Did that mean something? Only that I'm the most hunted outlaw in all of England. You have but to whisper my name and these monks to these monks, and I'm a dead man. Pray pardon me. I've been on the crusade with Blessed Mary protect him, our beloved king, for many years. Alas, he's still a prisoner in Europe. But how came you here? 
My master sent me ahead of him, so I escaped Leopold's ambush. But upon returning to England, I fell into Prince John's hands. May he suffocate and awful and splooge. He turned me over to these monks, who seem to know you well enough. I swear by the Virgin Mary, I am not one of them. The Prior swears by the Holy Three, yet he tortures me. How would you have me prove myself, Falk? Why should you want to? As I love my king, I swear I will not leave here unless I take his devoted servant with me. And I will not leave here without my verses. I beg your pardon? They are written upon a ragged bit of scroll wrapped around a wooden cylinder. The prior may the devil feed dung for it. May the devil feed him dung and fee dung and splooge for eternity has taken them. The prior seeks to decode the secrets of my verses, but he must not or I will have failed the trust my king placed in me. Return my scroll to me and I'll never doubt you again. Okay, well that sounds simple enough. Let's go ahead and head on out, because obviously we've got a mission. We've got a quest. Alright, now I guess I gotta come down this way. Like I said, walking downward is not as easy as you would think. Um, so anywho, we've done that. Now we need to go all the way kind of around around the priory here. There's a spiral stair leading upwards to this tower. Alright, up we go. We got shit to do. I see desks and scrolls inside this room. This is a room set aside for study. Well, get the fuck up there. I've got shit to do, man. Alright, um. Pardon me. Uh, our brother Eustace has the congen broken. Have you loosened his half wit tongue? Now, Your Grace, then what are you doing here? Uh, uh, one of your more trusted brothers arrived to take my place and bade me tell you he'd break the door for you soon enough. Which brother dared to countermine my order to you? Forgive me, Your Worship, his name has clear fled my poor brain. Tis a poor brain indeed, bacon brain, more full of fat than sense. Do what you will for now, and I'll deal with your punishment and his later. Hehehehe. <laughs> Trying to be a bit mischievous. Allow me to refill your goblet, your worship. You stupid, clumsy, worthless rah! Clean up this mess, I'm going to my town to wash out my robe. Stupid bastards. Cl aye, clumsy as a fox, your worship. <laughs> Let's take a look see here as we grab. What did we just grab? The scroller fox scribbled bits of dog roll. And it's a riddle. We'll read this riddle later because this is actually a timed event. And we got to do this quickly or fail at our task here. We are looking for... There it is right there. So it's the bottom one right in the middle. Uh, this fills the description Marion gave me. I'll tuck this into my sleeve. There's nothing else here of value. I mean, you could try to read a lot of this stuff, but it really just gets you in trouble if you don't get out of here soon enough. And then it's like, like I said, it's a lot of backstory and history. Let's just get out of here before uh, the prior comes back. You're welcome to read that stuff, uh, but I do believe if you're caught still looking in there at scrolls, you get you get caught or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's head back to Falk. Yes, his name is Falk. His parents called him Falker. Don't worry about it. Falk is still here where I, just where I left him. Alright, so let's, we're going to use this scroll and hand it to him. That ought to make him a little happier. Bless you, bless you, Hooded Robert. That's Robin Hood. Sorry. No matter, we must turn our wits to escape. There is a way, a secret way, follow me. And how would you know of the secret way? Well, one time I heard these two monks plowing each other in this room next door. 
One of them talked about not getting caught, so they went into this secret area and started fucking each other in the ice. The monks brought me in this way. It looks like a solid wall, but press here and it opens. Follow me. Please, let's go at once. As soon as they discover that I'm gone, they'll come looking for me. Yes, they will. There was actually a scroll in the in the in the uh, library that told us which uh, faces we needed to do here. We need to pull on certain faces. That's one. Uh. I want to say this is another. Ooh, I could be wrong here. My fingers, though, I almost thought I felt it move. Okay, so it's that one. Okay, so let me try again. You have to touch these in a certain order. see here something like this hold on we're gonna get caught here in a minute if I don't figure this out uh, Why can't I do this? They should be, um... Damn it, this is annoying as shit trying to figure this out. Uh... You know what? I think I'm doing the order wrong. Hold on. Did I do it? Ah, there we go. So there's the order is the... It, if you read one of the scrolls, it actually talked about a thoughtful one, a hungry one, and a foolish one. The hungry one's the hardest one to figure out, but it's obviously bottom left, upper right, upper left. You've done it! We're free! We're... Shh! Listen. They've discovered our escape thanks to the blessed lady. The fog is so thick on these waters. Oh, hide us until we reach the shore. Yeah, get the fuck out of Dodge, man. Yeah, that that could be whoops, that could be that could be a tricky mess right there if you're dicking around too much. But we made it, and that's what's important. I actually worry about that uh, that that one sometimes because I for some reason I always forget the fucking order. But like I said, if you're curious about it, there is a scroll in the in the where the scroll all the scrolls are that talk about it. My poor words of gratitude can never express what is in my heart. Let me give you two parting gifts to show my sincerity. Take these ragged verses of mine. They hold secrets within secrets, treasures within treasures. There you go. Now open the end of the wooden cylinder and tap gently into your hand what is hidden within. By the Virgin, a magnificent ring of lapis lazuli set in silver. No ordinary ring either. My master, God save the king, served the life of a magician during his siege of Jerusalem. And now his name's not fucking Merlin. The magician gave him two magic rings. The ring that commands fire and the ring that commands water. The abbot of Nottingham's may his brain be infested with leprous maggots and herpes. And, uh, other horrible things. Has taken the ring that commands fire for himself. Whoever wears that ring cannot be harmed by fire, however hot. What you hold in your hand is the ring that commands water, and truth it commands elemental spirits or other such beings that live in the watery places, rather than commanding the water itself. I bid you keep it safe until my master can come calling for it himself. And I charge you, if ever you can, deprive that fat scabrous abbot of the fire ring, you will be doing your king a noble service. I give you my word, I will put my wits to it. If I can if it can be done, I will find a way. Then I come handy to you these bits of tomfoolery that I call verse. 
Within them you will find the key to unlock the Ring of Fire. Farewell then. I'm off to find Queen Eleanor and serve her until my master, bless him, is returned to us. Farewell, Fock. We shall meet again, if God wills. And get a better name! I hear you screaming Fock all around the place. Stupid Fock. <laughs> I hurried back to camp as quickly as I could, arriving shortly after dusk, to find the men anxiously awaiting my return. Will this rain folk gave you make you invisible? Then you could walk into Nornham Castle and free the widow's sons. If you think I acted wrongly... No, no Robin. It was a clever as trick as you have ever pulled. And freeing the king's own jester was a fine deed. But how Hob and Dickon will lie now as soon as the sheriff pleases. Tomorrow may be our last chance to rescue them. Then let us sleep now. We'll need all our strength and cunning to save those men. And thus the black robe is there. There are means and reasons to go back and forth between that place or use it as a disguise to get you into um, town and whatnot. Anyway... We survived day five, the first difficult kind of day that this game has to offer, and the other days aren't going to get much easier. I am your host, CRPG Guy. I want to thank you guys for stopping by, and we will have more Conquest of the Longbow, the Legend, or the Adventures of Robin Hood, a little bit later, uh, and we will try to find a way to save the three boys from the Hangman's Noose, as well as dicking around with maybe the Abed. Hey, Abed! I hate that guy. Thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching, and while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.